Hadacha, Additions to Esther, 6. The copy of the Sepharim was this. The great king, Artach Shashta, writes these things to the princes and governors that are under him, from India unto Kush, in a hundred and seven and twenty provinces. After that I became lord over many nations, and had dominion over the whole world, not lifted up with presumption of my authority, but carrying myself always with equity and mildness, I purposed to settle my subjects continually in a quiet life, and making my kingdom peaceable and open for passage to the utmost coasts to renew peace, which is desired of all men. Now, when I asked my counselors how this might be brought to pass, Chaman, that excelled in wisdom among us, and was approved for his constant goodwill and steadfast fidelity, and had the honor of the second place in the kingdom, declared unto us that in all nations throughout the world there was scattered a certain malicious people, that had a Torah contrary to all nations, and continually despised the commandments of kings, so as the uniting of our kingdoms, honorably intended by us, cannot go forward. Seeing then we understand that this people alone is continually in opposition unto all men, deferring in the strange manner of their Torah, and evil affected to our state, working all the mischief they can, that our kingdom may not be firmly established. Therefore have we commanded that all they that are signified in writing unto you by Chaman, who is ordained over the affairs, and is next unto us, shall all, with their women and children, be utterly destroyed by the sword of their enemies. Without all mercy and pity, the fourteenth day of the twelfth month, Adar, of this present year, that they, who of old and now also are malicious, may in one day with violence go into Sheol, and so ever hereafter cause our affairs to be well settled and without trouble. The copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province was published unto all people, that they should be ready against that day. The posts went out, being hastened by the king's commandment, and the decree was given in Shushan the palace. And the king and Haman sat down to drink. But the city Shushan was perplexed.